All right, everyone. Today, I would like us to to try to hunt for vulnerable devices that can be seen on the Internet of Things. That means we shall be visiting Shodan in order to hunt for some of the vulnerable devices that can be exploitable just using the tools that are existing on Kali Linux operating system. So today we shall visit Shodan in order to see whether we can be able to get some of the devices that are misconfigured or some of the devices that are that can be that can be exposed to the internet uh, yet there are there are levels of vulnerabilities there so let's dive basically to show them and leave heck the box now um i know that on shodan there are pretty lots and lots of devices there okay right for you to be able to use Shodan Web, you can, you can, you need to be logged in like I did in the morning. So uh, you must have Shodan account. They can also allow you to use um, your Google account. Uh, so right now, we already know that for you to be able to use Shodan, you can explore because all the devices that are directly connected to the internet, they can be right seen. Here, for instance, if I want to type um, computers that are in um, that have my SQL database, then I will be able to to see those devices. So uh, these are the IP addresses. The differences between um, Shodan and other search engines such as Google is that because you know that Google Google.com it will show you the the websites where you can get a certain content but Shodan can be able to show you the devices so that is the difference between Shodan and Google because if I want um, let's say I want my SQL then I will get the web content that contains the web my SQL but here I will be able to get the 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 devices that contain my SQL database so what happens is that um, now because where we are going is we are going to hunt for vulnerable devices so I think it's better for us to to start by basically trying to find the devices that have the the FTP service on and with uh, with anonymous login I think you guys are more familiar with anonymous login if not so I think you better search Google and then you will see what anonymous login looks like. But I'm going to show you how we can even exploit the devices that have got such a problem. So now let's type the word anonymous. Anonymous, all right. Yes. So let's search and then we, we can be able to see which devices do have the anonymous login. So you see no anonymous login here. Uh, okay, sorry. Um, let, let's check. Um, user anonymous cannot log in. Yes, actually, no anonymous. No anonymous. Um, because we are just hunting here. Yes, anonymous cannot log in. All right. Um, um, user anonymous unknown. We are not sure. Yes, okay user anonymous logged in so anonymous has logged in here that means we can even check where is it is in the u.s and um, maybe we can be able to see how many in the u.s that have the the anonymous login all right um, all right no anonymous login all right all right all right um, so let's try this ip address and then see whether it will allow us to 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 be able to log in anonymously so let's unmap this ip address and then see what ports are open so we can try to ftp this site uh, when nmap is still doing this um, we can go to the next page so we can see that if ever we can get more 
more more more more targets no anonymous login no anonymous login here okay seems like um all right there is no more anonymous logins here but okay because uh, because of this so let's wait a little bit for um, for nmap to finish even though it still takes longer time but i think um while while doing that we can be crazier enough ftp ftp then so we can see connected yes so anonymous all right and um all right so you see that uh then we we will check this uh, all right so port command successful all right uh, permission is denied okay let's check through mail exploit um let's buy and um maybe msf console okay so and then from here why well, metal exploit is still loaded okay so this are the this is the, the target port all right and for this reason we can do some further exploitations here so let's check um, we see that there is mysql installed on the server and there is postgresql maybe okay maybe it's a linux server all right um that was just a basic uh uh nmp here rs ftp okay then we have got https that means there are some traffic that can travel through https okay so uh, maybe it's because of the SSL protection that I cannot log in for more time but in actual fact um, you can get some many problems that you can see here so let's for instance um, FTP anonymous logins okay uh, top services let's check the um, uh pu ftpd so these are the services that you can you can classify here truly okay let me search again so no anonymous no anonymous access allowed no anonymous access is login okay user anonymous cannot log in okay maybe we can okay user anonymous cannot log in here user anonymous unknown maybe we don't know let's check this one okay uh, okay right um, so here we wanted to first of all go to metasploit and then see and then prove that um, such uh, um, FTP anonymous okay so we shall be using auxiliary scanner anonymous that is the, the type of scanner that we are going to use here um, use this scanner and then then let's uh, see the options available here all right so we have like our host and then our port so that means we we can be coming to this terminal here and then copy this um, and then uh, paste it right here set set a remote host our hosts here and then uh, set 
a report set a report number 21 so then we can be able to run here so that we can be able to see whether uh, hmm, okay uh, okay let's check the the results yes welcome to pftp so that means anonymous is be is able to log in here so you see this is one of the reasons why you have to make sure that before you you you, you need to check whether direct devices that are connected to the internet such as routers they are not um misconfigured in a way that can be exploitable by the by the bad folks so um, let's check no anonymous access is allowed no anonymous access is allowed but in a day-to-day -day basis you can be able to to check and then see so this one was the one that we visited and then we succeeded so so let's see no anonymous is um, and then see this one what is going on anonymous well let's check this one and then so we can see what is actually cooking here uh, no anonymous login okay but four for three and then part for 80 let's see for four three then we have like SSL this is like the web server right um, Um, so we can see set cookie all right okay we don't have a problem with that um, so some of the of the vulnerabilities they can be listed by by shorten in actual fact so like for instance here you can be able to see that a vulnerabilities was found Apache 2.4 to this that means the version of apache can be tried to be exploited here so you can try them by yourself so in actual fact this is a, a a strategy that we can use to to hunt for vulnerable devices that can be exploited for instance if you are more advanced you can now try to implement a script that will check for this because short and rp allows you to utilize Shodan in a command line and then from here thanks for watching guys if you like this video please subscribe if you don't think like you you like it please tell me so we can be able to sort ourselves out thank you very much